Hi everyone! In this video, I will show you how to import and edit audio in iMovie. Let's start! In order to import any clip, audio or video, you can always just drag and drop from your finder and drop it in your project. Or you can always select this button right here or go to file and then import media, whichever you want. There are quite a few things that you can do with audio in iMovie, so I will show you how to do all this. First thing is I'm going to click on the track here and then when I go up here you will see the little speaker button. And the first thing that you can do is adjust the volume of your clip. You can do that by either hovering with your mouse over this line down here. The audio is kind of like blue color and you can move it here. But quite a bit easier actually is if you go up here in the editing section and adjust the volume with moving this little cursor here. The next thing that you can do with the audio after you have adjusted the volume the way that you wanted it to hear is you can mute your audio and you can just click this speaker button and now you see that everything um, was removed. So you can unclick it back. Now, what you can also do with the audio here is auto edit it. You will notice that there's an auto button right here. And what that means is maybe if the volume is just too soft, there's going to be some very mild auto adjustments done to your um, volume and your audio. So right now you saw that all of this was changed a little bit. So make sure that you always listen to it after you have done that. So um, you don't get, you know, just a bad audio. The next useful thing that I like to use sometimes is an action where you can just right click on the track and say detach audio. And what that creates is a separate just audio file underneath your track. So then you can just see your audio and your levels a little bit better than when it is attached to your clip. Remember, if you want to undo an action, just always use the keyboard uh, shortcut command and Z together. Next very, very useful tool um, to edit audio in iMovie are keyframes. To do that, I'm going to again just detach audio because it's a little bit easier to see my audio. Now let's say right here, right? There's there's a too loud of a sound. Uh huh. There's a little clap. So let's say I want to erase only this clap from the audio, but remain, but just leave the remaining audio on the same volume as I had it. So what I'm going to do is the following. I'm going to press Option key on my keyboard, and now I'm just going to hover over my audio. And you will notice that a little keyframe shows up here. So I'm going to just click and I'm going to move a little bit further down. I'm still pressing option key, click again, and then I'm going to add two more keyframes and you'll see why. There we go. And another one. And now what I can do is just completely mute this. So when I'm playing it, you can't hear this at all. You will see it, but you can't hear it. So there might be like, you know, parts in your video when maybe, you know, there was a little sound in the background that you want to mute. So keyframes are really, really great for that. You can always use and add keyframes directly on your clip as well. You don't really need to detach audio all the time. So I can do it exactly the same thing right here. Now, another very useful tool that I use a lot in iMovie are markers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to listen to this audio right here uh, of my clip. Perfect. So let's say I start singing here, right? So I'm going to move my playhead 
And then to create and add a marker to your clip or audio, you just press M on your keyboard. Now I created this little mark and you'll see very quickly why I'm going to use it. I'm going to now add a piano accompaniment to this piece, okay? Or it can be a backing track or something like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to first just mute um, the audio of my clip so I don't hear it. And then I'm going to listen to the piano accompaniment just to find the place where I am supposed to start singing. Perfect. And I pause, I use my space bar where I needed um, the singing to start. So I know that I need to start singing here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to now add a marker to my audio, to my um, piano track. And I'm just gonna make this audio now shorter. And I will move this audio left because my key frame, my, my marker right now, you see they're not aligned. So I'm going to be moving to the left and keep moving to the left. And now you see that a, a yellow line appeared. So that means that my markers are now aligned. If this is not happening for you, make sure that you go to view and make sure that this snapping is on. This means that all these markers will align kind of like not automatically, but you will see easily when they're aligned. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to leave my uh, video on mute because I actually don't need the audio for my video. Nice. And I see that this is nicely aligned. Now, if I needed to move it a little bit to the left, to the right, I could have always done that. Now you'll see that because the audio is aligned to the video, what I can do is just delete these markers. I can do that in two different ways. Right click on the mark and press delete. Or I could have also just click on the marker and just drag it somewhere on the side and it disappears. Now I could move this audio a little bit to the left, to the right, depending um, whether I am, my video is now aligned with the backing track or the piano track. And this is how you edit audio in iMovie. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoy this video. If you have any questions about this video or any other questions about um, audio editing in iMovie, please just leave them in the comment section below.